<laughs> hey guys, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam. Today we're taking a look at the Speedy B F7 Mini Stack. Bottom line up front, is it any good or is it trash? I'm gonna tell you right now. It is not trash, it is actually quite good. This thing costs $95. It has an F7 flight controller, just like the name says. It's a 35 amp 4-in-1 ESC with a 45 amp burst rating, and it will accept 3 to 6 cell voltage batteries. Speedy B says that this is good for 3 to 4 inch size quads, These however I am using it on a 5 inch, and so far it has worked seven. fine. I have done zero testing with the amperage draw, so I'm not really sure what kind of amps I'm pulling through this thing, but it has worked just fine. In my latest project, the Vendrone. What, what, what? Look at this guy. It's uh, got a bunch of spinny blades, and they all intersect in the middle. I have a video about that if you want to check it out, and you should check it out because it's great. And disclaimer, Speedy B sent this to me for free so that I could make this video and basically oh, give them publicity and sure. test this thing out to tell you guys what I thought about it. So that's what I'm going to do now. Second disclaimer is that I am not going to go super in depth in the firmware and every type of little, you know, hardware on the ESC or flight controller board. Go watch a drone mesh video if you are into that kind of thing. Now let's start out with the cons because there actually are not many of them, but the biggest problem with this stack is that the rubber spacers or the grommets or dampers, whatever you want to call them, they're not tall enough to separate the ESC from the frame of the quadcopter. And they're just like barely, I would say they're not tall enough, but they're like just barely tall enough to separate the ESC board from the flight controller board and to me that's like that's kind of unacceptable i'd like to have more room there and uh and, I, and you definitely don't want the esc to be touching the frame now specifically it's the connector uh the connector port for the esc to flight controller cable is what sticks down and actually touches the frame but you still don't want um vibration uh, from the frame getting through to the board, which will then get to the flight controller board. So um, that's not cool. So I had to kind of improvise a little way of giving it a little bit more space. Um, but that's the biggest problem, and that's pretty easily fixed, really. Now, the small size uh, makes it uh, tricky to solder. So if you're not good at soldering small pads, then this may not be the board for you, but that is also the case with any 20 by 20 stack. And finally, the price is $95, so this is not a cheap flight controller stack, so you might not like that, but I think the price is totally fair for the features that you're getting. Um, it's a brand new board, and it seems to be on par with what, the, what other options are in the market right now. So those are the cons. Those are the ones that I've found so far. Um, let's talk about the pros and the features that you're going to get uh, should you choose to uh, get this board. The biggest feature that SpeedyB is pushing for this board, there's really their biggest uh, selling point, is that you can set up the flight controller wirelessly so I just changed in the SpeedyB like configurator quickly. app uh, uh, via Bluetooth. So it has a little Bluetooth yeah, antenna on the board, nice. and you can connect it uh, via Bluetooth to your smartphone. So you have to have a smartphone to, to really take advantage of this. Now, um, and you can use can the SpeedyB configurator app, which is free. Dandy to the speedy b app again don't give me an ad for an app for a product that you, that you sold to me actually in this case you you did send this to me so that's cool but don't do that don't do that to your customer speedy b mini let's connect it so that's pretty cool it is initializing okay cool and we are connected so this is cool i'm going to try and do this whole setup on my phone and now just full disclosure you can use the speedy b app for other uh, flight controllers, um, but you you would need, to, if it's not a Bluetooth flight controller, you would need to connect it with a cable. Uh, but it's a good app, and so you can get that, you can download it for free, and you can use it for other flight controllers. But with this combination, you can do it wirelessly, and that it can be, it is really nice, and it can be very, very important, because that means that you don't need to build your quadcopter 
with being able to access or at least easily access the uh, USB port. And in this case, it is a USB-C port, which I like over a micro USB. And if you want to waterproof the flight controller, um, you could you could basically have the flight controller in its own little waterproof housing and still be able to you know wirelessly access the flight controller. Being able to make quick changes like to the rates um, out in the field, it saves a lot of time. I didn't think that it would be as big of a deal as it is, but I'm I'm really really liking that feature. It's super easy to change the motor direction. Like I was blown away with how they have it set up where you can basically see a diagram of the drone. And then this one is spinning inward. So I actually want to change the direction. Click change the direction. Whoa, that is super easy. That, good job, Speedy B. Good job. And then it will spin outward. Very nicely integrated into their app. And I really, really appreciate that. And again, full disclosure, I've used that feature with a different flight controller. I think it was an iFlight flight controller. Um, and it actually did work. It was kind of glitchy, like it kicked me out, uh, but it, it would it would kick me out and then it would I'd get back in and it would actually change the motor direction. But it kind of did that like for each motor, but it still works and it's quite nice. The flight controller has a nine volt pad to power DJI video systems, so that's really nice. And um, that's one of the things, this is very uh, DJI ready. There's no connector plug to just like plug and play, but there are uh, solder pads laid out specifically for the DJI uh, digital video system. All of the solder pads are labeled, and I really, really like that because I, I think it's Flywoo uh, who doesn't label any of their pads. And so you have to constantly refer back to a, you know, a chart or a manual to uh, check and see which pads are which. So I really like that, that they have clear lettering on all the pads, even though this is a tiny 20 by 20 stack. So good job to them. The board also has three UARTs. So a TX and RX pad for each UART. So six of those in total, uh, which is really nice. So then you, you have some options if you want to add some different items um, like smart audio. And it does have dedicated buzzer and LED pads. So that way those don't take up any UARTs. You can just have your buzzer and your LED and it's super great. And this thing weighs in total right about 13 grams, which is really just so light. We're, we live in such a good age where technology is so light and so capable. It does have very good wiring diagrams and specs, um, but only at the SpeedyBee website, so they don't send you any paper with your flight controller, which, I mean, I, I get that, I guess, saving paper or something, but to me, I find it annoying because then I have to go and look it up um, and I you know have to kind of refer to that, so I either have to have my phone with me or you know be looking at a computer and referencing that the paper is kind of nice because you can have it like right next to your board it does include m2 and m3 hardware so that's two millimeter and three millimeter hardware respectively and it, this is to give you more mounting options um it's still 20 by 20 hole spacing though so this is basically just like if you happen to have a frame that has three millimeter holes that are you know in a 20 by 20 square so mm, i'm not sure if that's super useful but i mean i i appreciate that there's that option i guess uh maybe it would be better if they just included an adapter like a size adapter to go from th uh, 30 millimeters to 20 millimeters uh but anyway that's okay i made a 3d printable one of those where you can get on my website or someplace and it does come with a capacitor which is nice this has an XT30 connector, so I actually had to use an adapter, uh, an XT30 to XT60 adapter for this build that I did. If I had thought about it, I probably should have just uh, swapped it out for an XT60 connector, but anyway, an XT30 is what it comes with. And there you have it. That's the Speedy BF7 Mini Stack. Did I like it? Yeah, I do. And I'll keep testing this out and we'll see how it goes, but... Um, I mean, dang, this thing is pretty darn capable in a pretty tiny package. And I think the price is reasonable for the feature set that you're getting. And uh, so I enjoyed this. So thanks again to Speedy B for sending this to me. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any comments or questions or something like that, leave them down below this video. And I will see you again very soon, probably. Or I'll see you on the next one. Anyway, 
Until next time, keep flying and crashing and fixing stuff and and, and flying again. All right. Have a good day, everybody.